care that it's nighttime. I'm just gonna go for it. Just gonna go for it. Not afraid of the night anymore. Oops, that's not the right thing. Nope, that's not the right thing either. Okay, that works, I guess. Okay, so let's do this into planks. Let's go inside real quick. Real fast, real fast. Everything's fast this, this session, everything. Okay, so let's do create a soap bottle in the middle and then do that. That'll give us some treated planks. So we needed three for, or two for that. So we need two separated. And then we needed treated sticks. We needed how many? Eight. So let's make eight of those. So we'll have two left over. Okay, and we need a bunch of electrum. So we have eight ingots of electrum. I think we need more than that actually. MV capacitor. So we need four times four. So we need 16. So we need to put two more silver in there. So let's do that. So two more silver. Let's get our ingot cast as well. Just so we have it over there. So two more silver. And then we'll put our ingot cast down. We'll get our lead ingot. What is this? Oh, copper, aluminum, brass, gold, iron, electrum, lead. Okay, cool. So we got our lead ingots. So let's see what else do we need? Iron. We need a bunch of iron. So let's pour out another iron block, I guess. And then redstone. Yeah, so we need a block of redstone and some extra. So we'll just grab like a stack of redstone. Okay, another creosote bottle is almost ready, but I don't think I need it. Okay, so we got Electrum is here, so 16. So let's get our block of iron. We'll pour out a block of Electrum. That'll give us nine, so there'll be seven left. So let's pour out seven ingots of Electrum. One. Two. Three. This is the slowest part of the episode so far. Besides cutting down trees. Four. Five. Six. And seven. All right. Get our block. Let's do that. Let's make our um, coils. I needed eight total, so oh, I oh I made some extra sticks. That's okay. Okay, so I need eight of those. Let's just surround that surround an iron ingot to get the electrum wire wire coil. Then for this, we need three iron. So we have an iron block. We need three iron. Click on this. Okay, so we needed three iron, a piece of lead, and two electrum. I used all the electrum. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to put more more silver in there. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, these recipes, man. All right. Got a lot of gold, luckily. So, good thing. Okay, so we need more electrum, and then we needed, so we need three steel. Oh, we gotta wait on it anyway. So what was it? Two electrum, a block of redstone. So let's take this stuff out. So a block of redstone and two treated planks. So this goes here, this goes in the middle, and then these three go across the top, and then we need our two electrum. So let's go get that. It's on the bottom, so let's grab two. OK, 
Okay, go put that into the recipe. One, two, MV capacitor. And then we just needed iron, redstone, and steel. Okay, so capacitor, electrum, redstone, redstone, iron, iron, and steel. We have a kinetic dynamo. Now this will power both wheels, so we don't need to make another one, luckily. But we do need to fill this bucket with water outside. We're gonna need um, this cobblestone when we get out there. And I think that's it. If it's nighttime, it's not nighttime, okay, cool. Uh, but I think I'm going to put the water wheels inside the base. I know that might not make any sense, but um, it's going to be the best way to do things, I think. Or maybe I guess I can put them outside. I, if I put them outside, that means that I have to move machines. And I don't want to move that metal former because it can break. So I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I mean, there's no room down here. There's just no room. I guess I can put them outside and then I can always transfer the power later. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. But let's put them outside just so we have them up and ready to go. So we're going to break this up. We're going to put the dynamo up here. Oops. <clears throat> So the dynamo is going to go here, wrong side, there we go. And if we put the two water wheels on there, then they connect. Let's dig out the bottom here real quick so the water can flow. <clears throat> Okay, so there we go, and then we need to put cobblestone across one side, so like this. And then the other side. Okay, and then it'll flow down that way. So let me do this. Just for aesthetics. Don't need to do that, but oops, I put it in the wrong spot. Okay, let's get a bucket of water and pour it on top. If I can get up there. Okay, so we'll put one here. Um, disappeared. Maybe right there. Let's try that again. Instant replay. Okay, so if I put it here, there we go. Okay, so that's going to move that water wheel, or it should. Oh, it's moving both. Okay, well, I'm going to just get one more bucket while I'm at it and put it on the other water wheel just so it looks good. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we are. So we got both of our water wheels running and this is gonna be producing, I think 60, 60 millijoules per tick as far as I know, or 60 whatever, RF per tick, that's what it is. Millijoules, what was I thinking of? Uh, okay, so there we go. We've got our water wheel running. So if I hook that up to a like power storer, like a um, like a bat box. So a bat box is kind of expensive. It's wood, RE batteries, which is electrotine and insulated tin, some tin item casings. I think we can make that. So Electrotine, I don't think I've dug up any of that yet, but um, hmm. yeah, I haven't dug up any of that yet. Let me see if I have actually. 
Oh, I have. Okay, so we got that, and then we need tin. Ooh, that's going to be a problem. Because tin can mix with... Um, with uh, copper. So I have to take the copper out of the smeltery. Oh, I have to make a carpenter, huh? So I guess I can just mix it. So it's three ingots of copper to one of tin, which means I have 12 in there. So four, so if I put two of those in there, it should mix and make bronze. So if I put those two tin in there, let's see what it does as far as bronze. Let's get the rest of these creosote bottles. So I'll be able to make another um, water wheel soon, probably. I don't know how soon. Three, that'll give me 24. Yeah, I won't have quite enough yet, but I'm on my way. Okay. So, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, the um, bronze. So it gave me 16, and I need, how many? I said I needed 24. Okay, so that's not enough. So I'm going to need to get more copper. More copper. I need to get more copper. So that sucks. Is there any in here? Yeah, there's tin, no copper though. <clears throat> Let's go see if there's any exposed. I don't think there is. I think I had a hard time finding copper in this world, but it's worth a check, I guess. I think these are copper ore berries, yeah. But I want just copper ore. It's going to make things a lot easier. Copper ore berries only going to give me one nugget. need much more than one nugget of copper. need much, 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 many, many copper. Some gold I don't need. Some coal. Enough is enough. Just dig through it. Nothing there. Just iron. That I don't need. Yet. There's some copper. I can barely see it, but there it is. <laughs> okay, so we got some copper. Is there any more around here? Some more. One more vein. Yep. Awesome. Okay, let's head back up and see what we can do with this. Should be quite a bit. I think it, it'll make 28 for me. Uh, which means, oh, there's some more right there. Which means if it makes 28, I should be able to make enough um, bronze to make the carpenter, hopefully. Okay, so let's head back upstairs. We have to go back this way. And it was this way, I think. Yeah, this way. Jump, jump, jump. The stairs are here. Let's go upstairs. And we'll throw all this copper in there and see how much it gives us. And then we'll need to put some uh, more tin in there to make bronze. So we'll throw all this copper in there. So that's going to make 36. And then I need to put some more tin. So if I put two more in there, I think it should be enough. I think because I needed 24 right and it made me 16 so maybe one more one more should do it actually it should make me eight more ingots because two tin gave me 16 so one more which give me 24 so let's wait for that to smelt up and then we'll get our bronze and then the other thing for the carpenter was what 
glass. Oh, and gears. Okay, let me get a gear cast real quick. So we get the gear cast. And then it was glass. Let's see. Glass, we have two, which is just how much I need. Perfect. Okay, so we'll take this out, put the gear cast in. So we have 24 ingots of bronze, so we need four gears. One. Two. Three. And we got four. Okay. Let's switch this out with the other one. Um, I don't need the barley seeds. So I needed the other eight. So let's go one. Oops. Uh oh. Um, I don't need what? Birch sapling. Oops. Oops. What did I pick up? Barley seeds. So ingot cast, we'll go one, two, oh, three, four, I'm trying to go fast, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's go put the cast back. Okay, let's put the four gears like this, four ingots like that, make our sturdy casing, and then we need, I'm missing some, aren't I? I need two more bronze. I have some here. Thank goodness. I was gonna go nuts. So there's our carpenter, which I don't think we already have. Let me just double check. No, we don't. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. No, we don't. Okay. So let's make the carpenter. So now with the carpenter, we will be able to make what? What was the carpenter for? The carpenter was for something. Was it for the induction smelter? So basic machine frame. Machine frame. Basic. Yeah, so it was for the for, it was for the uh machine frame for the induction smelter. Okay. So once again, I do apologize for how slow I am moving throughout this pack, but expert mode is just really taking it to me and it's like knocking me out. I'm sure there's people who can play this a lot more efficiently, but I am just like not one of those people. But I hope that you guys are enjoying the adventure anyway. I know I'm enjoying it. It's just like really kicking my butt. Um, I intend to keep continuing with it. We got a carpenter and uh, we got the water wheels going. So now we have a source of power and we have a way to start going towards the induction smelter. And then we can use the induction smelter to start making steel faster. So we can, we don't have to worry about make, getting charcoal for the blast furnace, which means we don't need a tree farm just yet. Um, but yeah, so still moving towards uh, more efficient steel production. And yeah, hope you guys are enjoying it so far, like I said. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of whatever it is, wherever you are. And I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.